Oh yeah, I am Batman. Hand over your ketamine, shrooms, and whatever you're holding out, or Earth is doomed. All your psychedelics are belong to us. Good day to you guys. Again, this is Re Reviews doing an unboxing diary. Okay, this is what we're calling it moving forward because I talk about a lot of things. So, this is what we call an unboxing diary of Hot Toys Moon Knight TMS 075. You know, the series, I personally loved it. The ending wasn't as good, the fight, the final ending, and then the fact that we don't see Moon Knight a lot. So having this figure is like the opportunity for you to see Moon Knight. And as you can see, the, the cover is freaking awesome, man. It's layered. It's a bit bent <laughs> though, but just look at that. It's layered. It's the first time I've seen Hot Toys doing like layered pop-out style coverings. So this is like Moon Knight's Crest. So it is amazing. I got this from Carla Wong. I got it for something around 15,000 pesos, which is pretty cheap considering that this figure is actually a big hit. It's popular and I know I should, should have unboxed it sooner because a lot of people love it so much. So first impressions. Oh my God, this is Moon Knight, man. Regardless if you're familiar with the character or not, this mummy design is just so kick-ass. So, let us take everything off. It's a, it only comes with two trays, very small. So, let's lay the first tray. You know what? Since it's such a small figure, let's lay everything out on the table. And okay, we are back. So Moon Knight is a very light figure, which explains the rather affordable price. And I think it is great that you have a great figure that would have only these amount of, uh, amounts of accessories to keep the co cost low. Because look at it, man. I love this de the MCU's depiction of Moon Knight's uh, costume. It just looks freaking amazing. It looks freaking impressive truth be told so they really dug hard on the mummy theme because the comics version is just sort of you know just like this faceless white ninja kind of guy which i also dug you know so the best part about this is that what people what made people talk about it is the cape the cape has wires and it has just a it just moves and posts very well with the figure like if they can make batman capes like this i mean that's it man i mean that's all they need to know like they all need to do they just need to figure out how to make capes like this see freaking possible man the wires are just good the, the feel and texture and how the cape molds it's just freaking amazing. So Hot Toys, the greatest achievement of this figure is basically the cape. Okay. So I couldn't get enough of the cape, you know, while I was just fidgeting with it and stuff. It can, you can, you can make a variety of poses with it. As for the material, well, it kind of folds and creases and I don't know how this will survive, but tell you what, this is a lot better than uh, say something like Black Widow's suit, you know, or Spider-Man suit. So there's a big chance uh, it's going to last. So the, the, the costume is consists of hard plastic and soft like rubber stuff. And so far, okay, this is pleather. This one is pleather. But aside from that, it's, it's a different quality of pleather actually. So I'm not sure if it's the same material as the Star Wars pleather. So I have a good feeling that this would survive our country more i also love how the hood is done although the downside of you know hoods and not doing like spider gwens is that it has super limited articulation still though at least it you know the shape is there <laughs> despite <laughs> you can just make him look down because it's gonna look weird with the hump and all but you know what you can cover it with a cape right <laughs> see <laughs> so the cape is amazing because it, it, it can do just that as for the accessories we got some moonarangs <laughs> instead of batarangs moon knight has this moonarangs 
And okay, wait, I'm trying to get him to stand. You know what? Later. Okay, let's stand him up later. So just a variety of moonarangs. So think batarangs instead of their crescent moon shape. I wish I could slip it into his armor or something because in the in the series he actually takes some of the moonarangs. <laughs> Sounds funny when I say it. Of his of his chest log emblem. So yeah, it doesn't work like that, but it's okay though. I mean, I don't mind. I I don't know how I'm gonna post this because the array of hands, you know, they're made for for him to hold like various versions of it because you know he's really Marvel's Batman in terms of in terms of fighting style and all. So there there's that, you know. I I still haven't figured out how 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 to post mine. I still haven't thought that far and you might need to be careful with how you put it in the hands because you know you just might scratch up your 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 hands because this one's actually pretty sharp this one they could also prick you if you're not careful so yeah just moon ranks and all and for the second tray which I already took out uh, it's this diorama display uh, the downside, although I find it inevitable, is that it comes with this Ultra XXL uh, size base. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, which is... I wish it didn't have to, but the upside of that is that they did the logo really well. It reflects light, light really, really beautifully. Uh, I can't just show you how good it is on camera. I'll do my best. But when you have it on hand, the way it reflects light, it's it's very very good. It's one of the more unique uh, paint apps that I, I've I've gotten to experience here. Okay, wait, I'm just checking my moonarangs. Okay, be careful of the moonarangs, by the way. You can you can lose them quite easily, because when I was unboxing them, I noticed that they were all over the place, like the smaller ones. So this one. It's actually styrofoam, <laughs> so be careful of it. Mine already has some damage in it. I'll try to, I'll try my best to show it. Yeah, it's showing some damage, so I'm somewhere, but you know, nobody looks behind anyway. But just a word of caution that this one is not plastic. It's some sort of weird styrofoam, really. <laughs> Which, <laughs> I mean, it does look the part. The part, it, it, it looks good, but you know, it's still cheap ass. What do you call that? cheap ass styrofoam so let's try giving him some open arm poses open hand poses okay changing the the wrists are easier despite having the gauntlets yeah because the gauntlets are the bane of, of our existence really when it comes to changing hands this one is not so bad though the, the gauntlets really don't kick away the the, the hands like like what Batman Bat Batman do, does. Okay, so him in a flying pose. This is easy to install. Just look at the instructions. Uh, I pre-installed it because I got super curious with how it works. So how does it work? Maybe. Yeah, kind of cool, really. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this crescent moon above like this. I'm sure there are display options because I've seen people like, like mess with their with how they put the the, the moon. Sometimes they put in the floor, so their their creativity can go crazy with this moon knight. Yeah, it looks glorious, man. He because of the of how the cape and the body while is super not articulate. Yeah. These knee pads, there's a chance they're gonna come off, so be careful of that. Yeah, because it's only connected by this kind of cloth, and it's kind of glued, I guess, to that cloth. So, yeah, it's gonna gonna come off. And as for this, well, I'm not sure if the suit is gonna stick on this on this pincer things in the future. But as for now, though, I'm kind of confident with them. So it looks pretty kick-ass, actually. Yeah. The question is, where are you gonna post him? Because Moon Knight has only been in one, you know, he hasn't had collaborations with anyone. So you could post him with Black Panther because they are like deity types. 
you know deity deity types of yeah that's it <laughs> deity types i guess uh wait wait i'm trying to make this look interesting so you can also post them with the midnight suns with with blade and all and i, I have blade there an ultra old figure ah oh god it pricked me back there yeah it looks weird but the way he's holding the the moon around it's not supposed to be like this but for the purposes of of this ultra quick display you know it's, you can pose him with shang chi because you know they, they have martial arts backgrounds i mean this is a pretty you know acrobatic character too flying in the air gliding in the air and stuff so you could pose him with shang chi or in my case i'm, I'm gonna po pose him all by myself uh all by himself rather so yeah this is this is it i mean a lot of people love this figure and i i could would agree with them that this figure is also a contender of figure of the year because of its price because of its design you can put in batteries to make his eyes glow because admittedly there's too much white going on with him so sometimes his eyes gets lost gets lost in the mix but i don't mind I, I won't use batteries on mine i am happy with 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 how he is although i mean i'm gonna post him in where my soap reactors are so i just might battery up his eyes so you know i for this unboxings and stuff okay you know what let's let's take off his his head scope just to see how easy or hard it is okay so he's like mysterio he he has this he has this thing yeah it works like mysterio so you unscrew it just put the batteries there and voila the lights are gonna lights are gonna the lights the eyes are gonna light up so again a lot of us collectors do not have the luxury to light up our figures i mean just only for the photo ops and all but for it to be a normal thing it's not a luxury for for most collectors so having said that yeah this is very fast <laughs> having said that this moon knight is a must get uh, it is a contender for figure of the year on the basis of its suit design uh, the how possible it is and how you can get creative with its crescent moon base stand and it just photographs so well the shadows you know you can just do some killer angles with the shadows which which you will see a lot in, in the figure flex fridays groups those people there they're freaking amazing with how with how they do things and this is the most moon knight you will ever see man because in the in the in the disney plus series you barely see him animating him is too expensive <laughs> so the most the most time you would be able to stare at moon knight is when you buy this figure and as far as i know there are no statues there are no substitutes to how good this moon knight is and it's probably the most detailed uh, moon knight you will ever get in one six or like high-end figure format format currently i don't see any statues being done of him so kudos to hot toys for striking when the iron is hot where the mcu is hot <laughs> or cold or whatever <laughs> mcu is not as hot as it is but still if you love moon knight this is probably this is the best design ever on moon knight personally comics all media anyway thank you for checking out the review guys it is rather short it is a very light figure i don't want to talk more than necessary i actually i'm talking a lot right now <laughs> so have a nice day guys